I'm going to show the performance of the inverted biological microscope. Firstly, let me introduce the feature of that microscope. All light sources of it are environment-friendly LED. On the top, it is a LED light source for bright field lighting. Under it is a filter holder, which can put on filter to change the light color in view. That insert in plate has face contract rings on it, which is used for transferring observation between face, contrast and bright field. Now we can see the stage with culture dish holder and glass slide holder on it. Because we do not have live cells at the site, I am using cell, slide and pathology slide to show. There are holders for different sizes cell culture dishes. The nose piece is below the stage. The observed samples are above the objectives. Because live cells stick to the bottom wall of the culture, dish and some are suspended. There are liquid in culture dishes. Objective from my piece, difficult to focus and working distance is not enough. Now here comes our featured parts. The modular, full resins attachment. It has filters and light source inside. It even has a digital screen to show light intensity. And it follows our feature of using environment-friendly LED lamp as light source. On the left of the microscope body, you can find the optical part to connect the camera. Then the camera will not cover your sight and the machine is small. Besides, it is the cars and fan focusing head wheel. On the right, there is a lever to transfer the view in PC and IPs. We have two tensile times IPs. Field of view is 22 micrometers. Objectives have been installed to the nose piece. You can choose by your needs of face contrast objectives full resonance objectives and common plan achromatic objectives. Now let us see the slide with the processed cells, which are live cells ever. The cells are some transparent, no visible staining. So we almost cannot see it in bright field view in screen. That is why we need face contrast to see the cell shapes. Firstly, we should choose face contrast objective. I get 20 zoom times one. Then choose the same zoom times face contrast ring. Now we can see the cells shape clearly on the screen, especially the edge. It is still clear when moving the slide. Let me use full screen to show they are extremely clear in the view. Change a different zoom times objective to show. I get a 10 zoom times face contrast. The view is quite wide and see more quantity cells. The working is fluently, and the cells shape are sharp. Sharp is important to transparent cells. And you still can see color slide in bright field. Now let us check the fluorescence performance by a fluorescence slide. To find the area you want to see first, under face contrast is helpful to save your working time. Moving the light shield to cover the bright field lighting. Press the power button to start the fluorescence attachment. There is a digital screen to show light intensity. Draw the lever move to fluorescence channel. Now it is the blue channel, which you can see, green color fluorescence. Light intensity on the digital screen shows 90%. Let me see how it looks in night eyes. You can find the area you want to see quickly. Get back to the camera in time imaging. Get focusing.
Essence is weak, we can make it brighter with the software which comes with the camera, such as set longer explorer time. Now I have got the correct brightness I wish. Also by adjusting the histogram in the software, you can get a more pure background. The function is like black balance. The imaging is still fluently when moving slide. Snap the photo, it is easy. Draw the lever to see other channel. Now we are looking at the green channel, which you can see red and yellow for resins. The signal is much brighter than the green, stain fluorescence. Then we can get down the lighting brightness from the fluorescence attachment. That is the advantage of our product when compared to the mercury light source. Because mercury light source brightness cannot be adjusted separately for each channel. Almost each channel lighting brightness is available to adjust by your wish. Just 15% lighting brightness. We have got the satisfied red fluorescence. Snap the photo. Draw the lever to UV channel, which you can see bright blue fluorescence. Get down the UV channel lighting brightness. It seems 20% is workable. Adjust the background in the software. Imaging keeps better and better. Snap photo. Now have got three colors fluorescence imaging. It covers the most common used fluorescence.